Hi guys, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project and I'd like to share something with you that Melanie and I have been using quite heavily in the tiny house on wheels. Right Melanie? Yes. This is a Walmart purchase that I got a long time ago, maybe even a year ago. What I love about this, it is solar powered. It has a built-in solar cell and we keep this in the kitchen window and it's a flashlight obviously and we have never ever put batteries in this have we and we use it pretty heavily don't we yeah we do so this is a pretty decent flashlight to be honest uh, melanie could you please shut off the overhead light for us okay. by the way we are camping in a tent tonight and uh, i brought this with me because i've long been wanting to yeah <laughs> purple light so, uh, that is a pretty decent light. If I shine it up, you can see, focus camera, focus. You can see pretty well inside the tent and it is solar powered and also with a battery backup. So could you please flip on the overhead light again, please, Melanie? <laughs> Thank you. So, this has a battery backup and if Melanie, if you could be so kind as to take the camera for me, please. Okay. Alright, what we have here is it's got three settings. It's got, I do believe there's a light for when it's in the sun charging, but I've never actually seen it because uh, we have it facing in our kitchen window outside, so I've never seen that. And then it's got a, uh, there's three clicks on the, on the switch. There's the main rechargeable battery pack, which is built in, and that, as you've seen, is pretty bright. And then you click it again and it would be on the uh, spare battery pack, the button cells, which I have never used. And to be honest, the flashlight uh, came with dead batteries. But there's two button cells. I don't know why you'd even want to use them. I guess if the main battery pack inside ever died, because I have not found a way to open this, by the way. So if the main battery pack died... You could always go with button cells and continue using your beloved flashlight because it is still usable even if the internal batteries die. So that goes up in there. Now I'm not sure how long it would run on button cells, but it is there as an option. And like I said, mine came with dead batteries, so psh, whatever. Uh, oh, by the way, this is waterproof. Can you give us a good look at that? rubber seal in there. There's a blue rubber seal in there. You see it? Yeah. That's waterproof. And I don't know how to, to how deep. I lost the paperwork on this a long time ago. And if you take off the lens cover, there's your little LED light and another waterproof seal. And then you can put the lens cover back on over the LED. Now I'm not sure why they provided that because I thought maybe they would have wanted you to be able to get to the battery pack to change it, but it is a sealed device. But then again, as I said, we have used this. I've had it for over a year, and I love it. I take it with us on camping trips, and uh, it is in the kitchen all the time for nighttime use. It's great for in the house. Hello. <laughs> Works perfect around the house. And it's a great little light. So, again, you can find that at Walmart. I don't even have any ID on it, but you can go into the camping section. And if I can find any information on it again, there's no name, brand, or anything. Well, thanks guys for watching. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and my beautiful assistant, Melanie. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>